Hi guys, so this is a follow-up from the Sonia Booth video. I realized that um, it was like a bit too long, so I decided to do a separate video where I'll just be going through some of the Twitter comments that are talking about this. If you don't know, I did a video before this. It's about Ooh, Sonia Booth and her exposing her husband, Matthew Booth, who is cheating with Ubongani Mula, who is a married woman. Um... Yeah, and apparently the husband baked a cheesecake for the mistress um, and used the wife's Tupperware to bring it to the mistress. And the mistress ate it with her husband and they said it was nice. And 9 over 10 they rated it. So my name is Kelly said, but if Sonia Booth writes a book with the title The Cheesecake, I would buy it. Mm-mm-mm. And then Uliza X said, Sonia Booth is different, I tell you. This is the other, this is that other side of diary of a mad black woman. She's different. He was referring to her putting the cake carrier on the garage floor where her husband parks and saying that he's going to see this first thing when he gets home. And Telegazi said, cheating is just awful. Absolutely awful. What Sonia Booth is going through is just so painful, Bandl. Sonia Booth, who has changed her um, Twitter handle to our Sonia before Booth said, Ed Bong's one, your husband said you love cheesecake. You met the right man in Matthew Booth. He makes the best. I hope it was worth it. Now this was her tagging the mistress and saying that her husband makes really good cheesecake. Sonia Booth exposing her husband for cheating on Instagram with receipts. I'm talking literal receipts and car check and don't don't. Now, if you know, Usonia Booth is a writer, like I said in the previous video. So she did her research. Like she did her research. She thought about how she was going to present this whole thing. She started from the beginning. She started from the video where she first suspected he was cheating, the Valentine's video, where apparently he went to fetch someone and they went somewhere and she was like, but that was not me. So how was that possible? And then she connected the dots right up until when she had done everything. When she had found all the evidence, she called up the mistress's husband and said hey i have some news for you they had a 19 minute phone call and then they had a coffee meeting where they spoke about this where he saw all the proof and he was like you know what i've been going through this for 10 years with this woman okay i've been trying to make her change for 10 years you have the right to do whatever you see fit mm -mm -mm. sonia booth left no stone unturned we research here okay being a funny no make a chance go peak so she's saying that she doesn't even want to give her a chance to deny. Also, baking a cake for your side when it's your child's birthday is just wild business. She said, men, shameless. There are people dying, said, Sonia Booth didn't draw the line with the Tupperware or the cheating. She drew the line with that man blatantly disrespecting, um, disappointing and hurting his children and prioritizing his side girlfriend over their son's birthday and needs i would mop the floor with him and then um table for my said the tupperware was the tupperware exaggerated everything don't mess with the black woman and her tupperware Mm -mm -mm. Tepo said, as a man who can only imagine how miserable his home must be to even to get to that point, his wife must probably be an absolute disaster. Um, okay, but I don't understand how that would make any of this plausible. Montuza said, but at least he could have respected his kids. Clap for that. It was his son's birthday. Maybe Bam Bam to even bake the cake at his house. So he's saying maybe they gave him love potion because he baked the cake at his house. Why not buy a flat for a side to bake cake out of his marital home? He's just disrespectful. Mm-mm-mm. Yo. Buzz Life News said Sonia Booth gets private investigator to track her husband Matthew Booth and learn he was allegedly te cheating with an intern. Grand Zoll said Sonia put the, the work before this expose, Sana. She has receipts and everything. Umiziki said what Sonia is serving us is better than Tyler Perry's movies, Mtagabawo. Mm -mm -mm. 
told me, said, please, Bongani Mula gave cheesecake to her husband that her side piece made for her. Sonia Booth, you are my hero. I was also still wondering, like, why? Why would you do that? Why? Why would you do that? Una said, a friend of mine once said, at least white men don't cheat. Matthew Booth was like, let me measure milk, sugar, vanilla, sour cream, and mix the ingredients and bake at 180 degrees. Not Sonia Booth doing the Lord's work and saving us from lies. Mm -mm -mm. Titan said, I need someone to give Sonia Booth a book deal immediately, expeditiously. <sighs> Upura Lisa said, this Sonia Booth cheating story is not funny, but the cheesecake part took me out. Jens will bake a cheesecake for their side and have the nerve to say they cheated gum mistake. How do you measure five tablespoons of margarine gum mistake? Yo, so someone had said here, Enga is misdirected though. Why is she tagging the brands um, that work with the lady? Your husband is the one that cheated on you. And then someone responded, Bafeba on company time. Next question. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, that is it for the comments, guys. But I was just... I'm just thinking, this whole thing is just sad, honestly. I literally don't know what to say. Sonia Booth seems to be heartbroken. Rightfully so. Um, I'm just... I'm just feeling for the children, hey? Like, this is, like, so sad. It is literally so sad. I, I hope... They're able to heal from this. They're able to move on from this. They're able to, I'm guessing they'll divorce. I guess they divorce amicably um, and try to do what is best for their children. Oh, I'm just hoping for something good to come. I don't know how, but maybe. At least can it just not get worse than what it already is? Because this is just sad. Anyway, this is it for this video, guys. Until next time.